Central Park in New York City had always been an oasis of tranquility amidst the urban hustle and bustle. Here, amidst towering skyscrapers and an endless stream of cars, was a slice of nature where city dwellers could enjoy some peace and greenery. But in this story, Central Park will become the stage for events that would terrify even the bravest. It was an ordinary evening when Sarah, a young and ambitious journalist, decided to spend her time in Central Park, exploring the mysterious stories she believed were hidden in this place. Armed with her notepad and flashlight, she headed towards the park, unaware that this evening would change her life forever. As twilight descended, Central Park took on a mysterious atmosphere. It was even more beautiful and enigmatic at night. Sarah strolled along the pathways, listening to the sounds of nature, and tried to imagine the stories concealed behind those trees. Suddenly, in the distance, she noticed an unusual light flickering among the trees. Curiosity compelled her to investigate, to determine what it was. As she drew closer, she saw a small, ancient lantern hanging from one of the tree branches. The lantern was old, covered in dust and cobwebs, and its light flickered as if it were trying to capture her. Sarah picked up the lantern and examined it. Strange symbols were engraved on it, symbols she called in to recognize. She decided to jot them down in her notepad for further investigation. But when she attempted to step away from the tree, she felt something holding her in place. She turned around and saw that her shadow was inexplicably attached to the tree. Fear gripped her as she struggled to break free, but her shadow suddenly tore away and vanished into the night, leaving Sarah gasping for breath. The lantern lay before her, its symbols now shimmering brighter and more ominously. From that night on, Sarah disappeared without a trace. Her friends and family searched for her tirelessly, but in vain. The only things she left behind were her notepad with the recorded symbols and the lantern that had pulled her into the darkness. Several months after Sarah's disappearance, strange events began to unfold in Central Park. People walking through the park in the evening saw shadows moving independently of their owners and heard whispers emanating from the darkness. Local news outlets began reporting on these phenomena, and Central Park became a point of interest not only for journalists but also for numerous curious individuals. They gathered in the park, eager to unravel the mysteries it held. One such curious soul was David, a young paranormal investigator. He decided to spend a night in the park, attempting to uncover what was truly happening. Equipped with cameras and recording equipment, he was prepared to document everything that occurred. As night fell, David set up his observation point in Central Park. He placed cameras strategically and began recording. The first few hours were uneventful, but then something started to happen. Shadows began moving independently of their owners, forming strange patterns on the ground. The whispers grew louder, and David felt a chilling coldness enveloping him. He watched his camera screen, and he saw the contours of something indistinct slowly taking shape before him. It was Sarah's shadow. Her silhouette was blurry and distorted, but he recognized her. She moved slowly, as if unaware of what had happened to her. David attempted to approach her, but his hand passed through the shadow. Sarah called him to hear or see him. David continued to observe Sarah, recording every movement she made. Then, her shadow suddenly vanished, and Central Park became a place of darkness and silence. David was alone in the void. David was on his way home after his strange nighttime adventure in Central Park. He was exhausted and frightened, but he was captivated by the enigma of what he had witnessed. He began reviewing the recordings made that night and paid particular attention to the symbols Sarah had written in her notepad. The symbols appeared ancient and mystical, and David started researching their origins. He consulted experts and paranormal investigators, but none could offer any explanation. Sarah was still missing, and her family was desperate. They decided to seek David as help, and he agreed to assist them in unraveling this mystery. 
He managed to find other cases of disappearances in Central Park related to the same mysterious symbols. Together with Sarah's family and a group of volunteers, David initiated an investigation within the park. They returned to Central Park on the night when the strange phenomena typically occurred, with the goal of deciphering the secrets that it held. As night fell, the group was prepared. They were armed with flashlights, cameras, and recording equipment. David was determined to find answers and uncover the mysteries that might help locate Sarah. At first, everything was as usual. Shadows moved, whispers filled the air, and the place was saturated with an eerie energy. The group documented every moment, and David felt they were getting closer to a breakthrough. Then, at one moment, they saw Sarah's shadow once more. She moved in the same slow and distorted manner, but this time, she was closer. The group attempted to communicate with her, but their voices dissipated into the air, and she called in to hear them. Sarah's shadow approached the tree where she had last seen the lantern. She reached out and touched the lantern, and at that moment, everything around them began to shimmer and distort. The group lost consciousness and fell to the ground. When they regained their senses, they found themselves in an entirely different place. It was a labyrinth of darkness and abandoned alleys within Central Park. They were inside the park's most mystical and eerie section. The group was lost in the labyrinth of Central Park. They didn't even know how they had ended up there or how to find their way out. Everything around them was engulfed in darkness, and they could only see distant silhouettes of trees. David took on the role of the leader and decided they should move forward until they found an exit. They walked through the labyrinth, and each step felt endless. Time and space seemed distorted in this place. Suddenly, they heard whispers. It was Sarah's whispers. The group moved in the direction of the sound and saw her again. She was a shadow of her former self, and her voice was faint and ghostly. Sarah tried to explain what had happened to her. She said that she had entered this realm after touching the mysterious lantern, and now she was trapped here, along with countless other souls. The group decided to help her and all the others return to the real world. After hours of struggle, the group finally found an exit from the labyrinth. They emerged back into Central Park, but it was no longer the same as before. The shadows and whispers had vanished, and the place had become calm and peaceful. Sarah was free, and she thanked the group for their help. She shared her journey into this realm and how she had ended up here by touching the lantern. She also warned them that this world didn't entangle them by chance. It concealed many dangers and secrets. The group decided to return to the real world, but the lantern no longer flickered or distorted symbols. It was now just an ordinary, old lantern, and Sarah gave it to David as a token of gratitude for their rescue. From that night on, Central Park in New York City was no longer just an oasis of tranquility. It had become a place where mystical forces and mysteries were hidden, and only those willing to confront the darkness could uncover its secrets.